Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through Introduction to Graphs. Today, we will discuss another application of linear graph, that is principle and simple interest. We discussed the details of principle and simple interest in the chapter Comparing Quantities. Watch the video by clicking on this pop-up or link in the description box. We know, when we deposit some money in a bank, we get an additional amount for that. Also, if we borrow some money, then, we have to pay, an additional price. Thus, the additional amount, that we get, or paid, is called, the interest. Or, interest is the additional amount, we get, when we deposit money, or the additional price we pay, to borrow money. We call the deposited or borrowed amount as principal and the additional amount as interest. If more amount is deposited or borrowed, the interest is found to be more and vice versa. Here we are only discussing simple interest in this video. Let's see an example. A bank gives 10% simple interest on the deposits by the employees in a company. Draw a graph showing the relation between the amount deposited and the simple interest earned by the employees. Also, find the investment one has to get for an interest of 80 rupees. Here, we can see, as the deposited sum increases, the simple interest also increases. That is, they are in direct variation. So we can say that the graph of this information is a linear graph. We take the sum deposited on the x-axis and simple interest on the y-axis. And we choose the scale as on the x-axis. One unit equals 100 rupees and on y-axis one unit equals 10 rupees. Now, we plot each ordered pair 100, 10, 200, 20, 300, 30, 500, 50, 1000, 100, and then join the points, we get a linear graph. Also, we have to find the investment for which one has to get an interest of 80 rupees. For that, locate 80 on the y-axis and draw a horizontal line to the graph, such as it meets at P. From P draw a vertical line to the x-axis and the meeting point will give us the answer. That is, the investment one has to make for getting an interest of 80 rupees equals 800 rupees. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. A bank gives 5% simple interest on the deposits. Draw a graph showing the relation between the amount deposited and the simple interest earned. Using the graph, find the investment for which one has to get an interest of 40 rupees. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.